thank you, Esperanto, for being part of Valley Advocate Sessions. It was a pleasure to have you guys perform. Um, how did you guys get started as a band, uh, first off? Well, well, yeah, all right. Um, well, me and Neil, we're, uh, I mean, we've we're all been friends a long we're time. We performance music, right? Yeah, we, we met, met up performance music about 10 years ago, and uh, we started jamming, and we've been jamming ever since. And at one point, we tried to start a band and uh, started looking for people. Joel showed up. Paul called uh, to offer Neil a spot in a different band. And uh, so we all went down to Paul's house, and it started right there that day. The first three or four yeah. songs all happened right then. And uh, yeah, it was pretty magical. That was about three years ago from now, yeah. And uh, a blues rock seems to be a big influence, but uh, uh, as far as like different bands, songwriters go, uh, who are your inspirations? Well, me and I mean, me and Joe were kind of in the high school in the '90s and stuff, so the Pearl Jam's and Allison Chains and all that, but the blues stuff also. Me and Bill were into that, so we kind of mixed it all together. Yeah, fused classic it. rock, some hard fused rock. Fused it all yeah. together. Throw it all in there. Yeah. Alternative stuff. I'm, I'm into like old classic stuff, so. John Bonham and Keith Moon and stuff like that. So that's where I kind of got my my foundation from. And um, how do you guys write songs? Uh, is it a group effort, or does one person bring like uh, an idea for a song to the table, and you guys kind of work it out? Yeah, sometimes they start musically. Like, I might start with Bill or Neil or myself, and we flesh it out, flesh out some melodies and vocals and stuff. Or sometimes Neil will write a song and have a good musical idea and lyrics sometimes, or vice versa, I will. And then we all just get together and flesh it out the rest of the way. Um, so a variety of ways, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, whichever yeah. way it comes, really. Yeah, you just know? catch the wind, you know. Every like, song is a different, uh, whole different process, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now I heard you guys are in the studio right now. Can oh, yeah. you tell us about that, uh, what you're recording on, uh, and working on right now? Sure. We uh, we previously recorded a six-song EP, and uh, we're working on another six. Uh, we may combine them into one full album or not, but uh, yeah, we just want to get the rest of the, some of, some of the rest of the music out there. We have a uh, we probably have about 15 original songs right now. Oh well, so this will get us you know 12 of them recorded. Anyway. That's enough for an album. If yeah, you want. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, uh, now these uh, 15 songs are are they? Uh, do they have a specific theme that uh, that kind of unifies them, or uh, how Not do you feel about this batch of songs? This batch of songs we feel good about. It's it's, it's had uh, it for a while. We've yeah. been playing them for a while live and stuff, but haven't had them recorded. Had cash to do so it. we're excited to uh, yeah. actually get That's them. That's what it comes know. down to. And really, we're just excited to get them out there, get them out there to people. Um, we have a good relationship with one of the local rock stations. They've been playing some of our stuff on their locals channel, and uh, so yeah, we're just we just want to get it out to people, you know. And where are you guys recording? At the Rock Barn in Barkhamstead, Connecticut. Yeah, cool. Paul Lusky's been producing it. He he's done everything that we've done so far. And uh, do you have a release date in mind? Uh, when uh, I, I know you, I'd say probably early 2018. Okay, yeah, we'll go yeah. with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for uh, playing on sessions. It was a pleasure. Sure. Awesome. Thanks, thank for, you. Having us, Thanks for having us, man. Thank you. <laughs>